In April 1980, in Lusaka, Zambia, our founders came together and formed the Southern African Development Coordination Conference, which later, in August 1992, in Windhoek, Namibia, transformed into the Southern African Development Community, SADC, following the signing of the SADC Declaration and Treaty. Through SADC, our founders envisioned a region that would collectively advance the cause of national political liberation, paving the way for economic integration in Southern Africa. True to the dreams and aspirations of our founders, SADC has made significant strides towards development, peace and security, and economic growth through regional integration and cooperation. Over the years, the membership of SADC has increased from nine in 1992 to the current 16 member states, bringing a unique diversity of states in mainland Southern Africa and the Indian Ocean. The increased membership has not only demonstrated the willingness of member states to cooperate in addressing issues of importance to the region, but has expanded SADC's footprint on the African continent while creating a larger market for goods and services within a population of 340 million and a combined GDP of 720 billion US dollars. Since its establishment, SADC has consistently shown unwavering solidarity and unity against the many challenges the region faces. The SADC region was at the forefront of the global campaign to end apartheid in South Africa, which led to the independence of Namibia in 1990 and the collapse of the apartheid system in South Africa in 1994. Today, SADC is a stable and peaceful region with an expansive market, a youthful population, and a conducive environment for investment. SADC's solidarity and commitment to deeper regional integration has been demonstrated by the signing of a total of 33 protocols covering a wide range of sectors, including agriculture, food security and natural resources, infrastructure, industrial development, trade, investment and finance, social and human development, peace and security. Added to these protocols are instruments and policies which include the Regional Indicative Strategic Development Plan, Strategic Indicative Plan for the Organ on Politics, Defense and Security Cooperation, SADC Industrialization Strategy and Roadmap 2015 to 2063, SADC Regional Agricultural Policy, and SADC Regional Infrastructure Development Master Plan. Together, these protocols and instruments have laid a strong legal and policy framework for promoting regional cooperation and integration in various sectors. Over the years, SADC has continued to improve facilitation of movement of persons as well as goods and services across the region. The removal of visa requirements for most SADC member states allows SADC citizens to freely travel to any SADC country. With the SADC recognized driver's license, SADC citizens can drive to any SADC country without having to acquire another driver's license. The one-stop border posts which are being established along some of the transport corridors within the region, together with the harmonized road transport regulations, have all eased movement of people, goods and services, thereby saving time and reducing transport costs for travelers. At the same time, SADC member states have become more and more interconnected through regional rail and road infrastructure, making it easier for business operators to transport goods across borders. In addition, the SADC Real-Time Gross Settlement, RTGS, a regional cross-border multi-currency payment system, is helping to ease cross-border payment and in the process, promoting intra- and inter-regional trade. SADC has over the past years front-loaded industrialization in the regional economic integration agenda. And through the implementation of the SADC Industrialization Strategy and Roadmap 2015 to 2063, numerous opportunities are opening through the promotion of value chains. The SADC Industrialization Agenda is motivating the region to diversify regional economies, develop productive capacity, create employment and build a more sustainable growth path for the region. By utilizing the vast agricultural and mineral resources of the region, Adding value to the products will go a long way in realizing the full potential of the region's abundant natural resources. To support the SADC industrialization drive and enhance regional integration through energy infrastructure development, the region continues to cooperate to increase energy production and distribution. In this regard, the region has established the Southern African Power Pool, which has continued to connect member states to the regional power grid, thus providing an interconnected electrical system in the region resulting in increased power supply and its accessibility to industries and rural communities. In terms of gender and women empowerment, the establishment of several institutional frameworks, including the SADC Protocol on Gender and Development, has contributed to increased number of women in decision-making positions and several interventions to address gender-based violence. 
In addition, more girls are now attending school and graduating from universities and colleges, thereby reducing their economic vulnerability and paving the way for women and girls to realize their full potential. About 70% of the population of the Sadak region depends on agriculture for food, income and employment. To avoid the region's cherished plants going into extinction, the Sadak Plant Genetic Resources Center in Lusaka, Zambia, has continued to preserve hundreds of plant genetic resources as a means to improve agricultural production and ensure food and nutrition security for the region in the years ahead. SADC continues to cooperate in preserving shared resources such as water and other natural resources through river basin organizations and trans-frontier conservation areas across the region. The conservation of the region's abundant natural resources and wildlife has made the SADC region one of the most preferred tourist destinations in Africa and the world. In the process, the tourism sector has generated billions of dollars and created thousands of jobs, making tourism a vehicle for socio-economic development. Through the work of the SADC organ on politics, defense and security cooperation, internal conflicts have been resolved. The region has witnessed smooth and democratic transfers of power and a substantial progress has been made in the fight against transnational organized crimes, armed groups and other security threats. All these efforts have made the SADC region one of the most peaceful and stable regions in the world. In the years ahead, SADC will continue to build on the successes made so far. Guided by the SADC Vision 2050, SADC envisions a peaceful, inclusive, middle to high income industrialized region where all citizens enjoy sustainable economic well-being, justice and freedom. One region, 16 nations, working towards a common future. Together, we are strong. <laughs>